But let's get on with today's programme and this week's announcement that the government wants to kickstart three big Auckland transport projects. First, another harbour crossing. Second, speeding up roading projects around the industrial areas of Onehunga, Mount Wellington and East Tamaki. And third, getting behind Len Brown's plan for a $3 billion city rail link. The underground line would link Brit Omar to the Western Line at the Mount Eden and Kingsland stations. And it would create three underground stations. It would also create a rail loop that would open up more transport options for commuters and, it's hoped, relieve some of the congestion on Auckland's roads. But the government is being rather coy on how much of the bill it plans to pick up. Prime Minister John Key has already strongly hinted at the Auckland Council selling some of its assets. And that is something Mayor Len Brown says he won't do. Here he is on The Nation last month. I was elected on this platform. We are not selling the airport Why shares not? and all the port shares because we believe that we can actually get this work done without doing that. They deliver an excellent. You need they for that deliver city an loop. excellent income stream to our community through the dividends, and there's no great sentiment in Auckland for the sale of those assets. So I'm not getting into that. What I am saying is that if we're able to finally get agreement with government, and we're working with it. And the, the what media if you is can't, so. Though? What the, are your the, options? The, yeah, well, we, I don't want to cross that bridge yet because I, uh, I am determined that we shall get into a position with the government where the government and our council agrees the long-term transport infrastructure build in our city including the CRL and I believe we're working towards that constructively now it might not look like it on this show and all the papers but I can assure you that we're working in a constructive way and I remain quietly confident that we will get a good landing point there and the government will support it. Overwhelmingly, yep. Aucklanders agree our transport plan and the need for us to invest in rail and get mass transit done for the city to get it moving. But you need the money. So is it not negotiable that you would sell these interests? Look, we, we have, uh, aside from those issues, uh, those issues of public assets, we have also got out around our community at the moment a discussion document that talks about, so how do we pay for this? Do we do it with tolls? Do we do it with a potential congestion charge sure. or a network charge? So these are big issues in our community are basically saying, look, we agree the vision, we want the government in, and we will look at that too. Len Brown speaking uh, last month on this programme. Well, Transport Minister Jerry Brownlee now joins me live from Wellington. Good morning, Minister. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. You've, you've just heard uh, what Len Brown had to say. He said he was proposing a network charge, a congestion charge, or tolls in order to pay for this. What would you prefer? Oh, well, look, uh, we'll wait and see what the uh, uh, consensus group reports to the Auckland City Council uh, next month, I believe, uh, and then see how they react to that report uh, and what comes from that. In the end, though, what we've made clear is that we don't want Aucklanders uh, paying twice effectively for the roads that uh, currently exist. Uh, and the idea of saying, well, look, we'll take the uh, state-owned assets and apply a local charge over them uh, is one that we reject as well. Uh, but look, there are, as, as Dean Brown said, there are lots of options uh, that can be looked at uh, over the uh, years that we've now got clearly in front of us uh, in the planning stages for these okay. projects. So would you rule out and tolls look, or would you rule out the congestion charge? Would you rule can both of those out? I make one other point? Certainly. I'll make one other point first, which is that uh, of the package that was released yesterday, uh, it's the City Rail Link and the uh, proposals around Amity. Uh, that the Auckland Council will part fund with the government. The other projects largely fall under the State Highway Program uh, and uh, are not a burden on the Auckland ratepayer. OK, so can you rule out a uh, congestion charge? Can you rule out backing a toll as well? well? Well, tolls are something that you'd have to look at on a project-by-project -project basis, and we do anyway. So you've got your Northern Gateway uh, up uh, past Albany, and uh, that, that's a very successful operation. Uh, so tolls are not something that we are, are, are you know, died in the wall opposed to. But I think uh, some of the other charging, uh, we would be much less in, inclined to support. So what's that, a congestion charge you would oppose? Well, I, I don't know how they'd apply a congestion charge. I mean, one of the things that would, is interesting is that uh, I understand that if you're developing apartments in Auckland, you're still required to put in a uh, fairly sizable number of car parks, which doesn't seem to me to be a way to encourage people to uh, keep cars out of the central city. Uh, but we're not, not uh, going to support um, uh, charges on roads that uh, taxpayers effectively, and therefore Aucklanders as well, have already paid for. John Key said on Thursday that Auckland should consider selling its assets in order to meet some of these costs. Should the council consider that? 
Well, I think it's one of those things that's inevitably going to be uh, on the table. Remember that we've got uh, uh, a program that is now set out for the next 10 years. Uh, and as we come up to the, the point where you're getting the business case together for the City Rail Link uh, and that uh, huge expense involved in that, uh, and, and, and recognise that you've got a 2016 local body election as well, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't something that was uh, considered by some people. Well, Len Brown says he won't consider it. That's not negotiable. He staked his political career on it. So that's a no-brainer for him. He's not going to move on that. Well, that's, that's fine. That's his position. And I think um, uh, he's entitled to go to the ratepayers in the coming election and, and say that. Uh, th he's already said that. And, I, I, you know, let's, let's be clear, he's got a right to stick to his policies. But as we come up to the point where... Uh, we're looking at uh, the, the business case, which is about how it's funded and, and uh, uh, all the other aspects of it. Um, he'll have to have some answers. But look, that's, that's his part of the, the, uh, the project, not ours. It's a standoff, though, that seems can't be resolved unless either the mayor backs down or you back down. Well, I, I think that's a, a, a not a reasonable proposition at all, because what we've said is that we recognise uh, that the rail link does need to be built. Uh, Liam Brown would like to see it started in 2015. We've said, look, we think um, uh, start looking at starting the business case in 2017 uh, and with a start date, which we are committed to, of 2020, is much more reasonable. Rem remember that the uh, Auckland plan uh, justifies the rail link on the basis that they expect a 46% increase in the number of people <coughs> working in the CBD uh, and rail patronage to massively increase. So okay. we've said... Let's be reasonable about that. We've said uh, if we see a trend, uh, remembering that from next year you're going to have the, the uh, new rolling stock on the lines, uh, the electrification is, is reaching completion, and if, if we see the current 11 million, uh, 11 million passenger movements increase uh, up towards 20 million, well, that well, would bring it forward. Also a 25% increase, or half what they're uh, predicting uh, as workforce in, okay. in Auckland would, would trigger an earlier uh, decision. Well, and we'll touch also. on that in a moment. But you know that politically, Len Brown can't deliver what the government's asking him to. So, you know, is no, this a, no, that's not true. Well, he can't he's because got, he, got, you opposed holes. He opposes selling state assets. He can't meet in the middle. There has to be someone has to stand off. So, you know, is this a backhanded way of trying to essentially force him out of the mayoralty? No, I, th I think that's a, a rather frantic expression of, of um, uh, a situation that simply doesn't exist. What we are say, saying is uh, we're committed to the rail link from 2020 uh, as a start build. Uh, we'll, we've put some uh, provisos out there saying, look, we recognise things could change. We think electrification and those new rolling stock will lift the number of people using the trains. So if all that starts to come in place, obviously, from a government perspective, we want to see Auckland future-proof would move sure. sooner. Now the funding, but you can't fund that just from tolls, side, which is what you support. You can't. You can't. It's never going. They're never going to raise enough money just from tolls, are they? No, well, the tolls really aren't an issue around the rail link. Uh, the rail but link. But if they don't, well, how do they? Auckland. Can they build the rail link without selling their assets? Well, they are saying they can, and uh, I think that's a political decision that they have to make. They're as committed to this as we are. They're actually committed to doing it sooner than we are. So I would assume that they've got all that sorted out. Look, I don't think. Um, you know, focusing on this is particularly productive. I think what we're trying to talk about here is New Zealand's largest city, uh, the economic powerhouse of, of the whole nation, uh, having a, a network system uh, developed over the next 10 years that will see it able to experience comfortably the growth that we expect. Well, I'm trying to have a productive conversation here about how it's going to be paid for, which is surely the key question here. Yeah, well, that's um, a, a, a question. And what we've got is a situation where the government has said it will pay for a part of it. How much of it is yet to be uh, decided. And Auckland have said they will pay for a part of it. And that is yet to be decided. I don't think it would be fair to say that we are somehow trying to put a wedge in there uh, that's going to put pressure uh, on, on Mayor Brown. That's not what we're about. We've uh, negotiated this uh, over a long period of time. We've always said... Uh, that we wanted more information, wanted to be clearer well, about that, And I'm not sure you've always said it that way, there. actually, because I know uh, you said, you know, why are you now willing, for example, to commit $1 million a metre to a tunnel, which back, uh, in your own words, last November in the House, you said, quote, it will do so very little. Now, well, you're that, backing it. Well, oh, but it's part of a package, and I think that's the point that we've always wanted to make. 
So if you just do the rail loop uh, or link on its own, uh, it doesn't have a huge amount of uh, make a huge amount of difference. In fact, uh, the, the predictions were that congestion would be no better by 2021, even if you built the uh, rail link earlier. What you do need to have is the whole of the network, uh, which is of course the, the roading projects which we have uh, uh, supported, uh, and, and the extension of busways as well, which, um, or bus usage I should say. It, it does seem uh, a remarkable our, our change of perspective, um, because you know back then when you were saying the tunnel's going to do very little, you weren't saying then we need to see a big comprehensive plan for Auckland, you were just dismissing that. Oh, no, that's not right, that's simply not right. You, if you're relying on a question uh, in the House, uh, you've got to remember what I'm dealing with. Uh, I am, and I can uh, quote you. It was Phil, Phil Twyford put it to you yeah, in the yeah. House, and yeah, he said, right. and "He said, I think you've, you said to him, I think you've got to be very careful before you commit a million dollars a metre for a tunnel project that will do so little." That's the verbatim quote. That's right, but it was in the context of uh, our opponents being totally opposed to the roading projects that we're also uh, seeing as part of that network solution. So you're, you're taking a snapshot of uh, a part of uh, an entire debate without, The government's I always think, been pretty clear context. that it didn't support Am I this. answering or, or Yes just you are, but I'd like, to, to, I'd like you to be honest. I'm putting it to you that you know well, the I government has never really, never really supported this at all and then suddenly this week it is. You know, have you That's stolen absolute, a march here on Labor and the Greens? Is this is about an election rubbish. issue or is this about what is good for Auckland? My predecessor agreed with the Auckland City Council that they should go ahead and protect the route by buying up some properties that would enable the rail loop. That is not a government opposed to the project. What we've always said is that we want to understand better what can be achieved for uh, the, the movement of traffic in Auckland, the ease of getting around, uh, etc., in a network context, and that's what we've done. And is this about next year's election as well, Mr Brown? If you look at a lot of the commentary around this weekend, they're saying John Key's been very clever. He's stolen a march on a Labour Greens policy heading into next year's election. It's a big issue, Auckland Transport, along with housing, and in, in essence, he's snuffed that out. Is this also really about next year's election and getting national back in government? Well, I don't know what uh, the Labour or Green policy is in a transport network sense. They've never said. Uh, we haven't seen this sort of uh, uh, commitment coming from them. What we do know is that uh, they're very opposed to the roads of national significance uh, and they generally don't like the idea that you put money into roads. But what we're saying is if we are to achieve the uh, benefits uh, that could accrue from the uh, rail loop, you do have to have the, the roading network uh, equally able to take traf uh, traffic movement in a smoother fashion. Jerry Brown, the Transport Minister, thank you for your time this morning.